is an endless sea of podcast about entrepreneurship. Talk, talk, talking about it, but not living it. We live it every day. This is Inside the Wolf's Den, an entrepreneurial journey with Sean and Joni Wolfswinkle, talking about real estate investing, but also encompassing general subjects in regards to owning small to medium-sized businesses, and of course, all the struggles that business owners must overcome to be successful. This is Inside the Wolf's Den, and this is Sean and Joni Wolfswinkle. Hey everybody, welcome back to Inside the Wolf's Den. My name is Sean Wolfswinkle. I'm Joni Wolfswinkle. Welcome back, everyone. And we also have uh, Brett Moses uh, making this all happen. So it's uh, been a fun day. Yeah, it's been a great day uh, out filming at one of our construction sites, new construction sites with Steve Rosenberg and Bigger Pockets. So talking about our operation. So that was pretty fun. Yeah, it was good. It was, uh, we're doing a lot more these days. Uh, with you know different uh members um within bigger pockets yeah. and then uh you know we have a book coming out uh we have a chapter inside that book uh it's, it's ken corsini's book uh which if you guys don't know he was on uh flipper flop atlanta um and uh he wrote a book for bigger pockets oh, and uh profit like the pros yeah so we're one of the uh the pros that yeah, was in that con- we're one of the contributors so yeah it's, it's, so that's coming out soon and then we were working with uh steve today um for the podcast for bigger pockets on uh just what we got going on in mm-hmm. houston and and one of our new construction and duplexes and so it's it, it was fun to kind of go through from the new construction phase to already completed stage and um, running out the property and having several applicants on a property. So it's, it was pretty fun. Yeah, it's good. I think it'd be good for us to sh- people to see what we do. Um, they did great, uh, you know, production and, mm-hmm. and uh, filming. So I think we got captured what, what we do and, and the essence of what we do. But it'll lead into what we're talking about today, which is... Uh, I think, and, and there's a way, there's a there's a segue into what why we're we're doing this. So I think with uh, today's episode is going to be, I will do today what others won't, so I can live tomorrow like others can't. And I, it, you hear this slogan, and you hear this thrown around, and, and popular quote there. Yeah, but it it it. I don't know if people really truly grasp. Um, and and if you've noticed or you've been listening for a while to our podcast, you'll see this this. Uh, motto kind of embedded mm-hmm. in, in what we do and what we talk about. So, but it, it, in, and it uh, goes into what we did today because people see the filming and everything that we did. The all, behind the scene things, what, but they don't really look at what we've done to or, get there. Or they see the finish where we are today and they right. see these homes being built and they see, you know, the construction crews out there and all and everything, all this mm-hmm. commotion, all this stuff going on, and they see a finished product, they don't realize like, all oh, the easy. sacrifices. Like, <laughs> yeah, everything that went, they don't realize, that everybody wants to get there quickly, right. but they don't realize the things that we had to do yesterday to or, get there. or technically yeah. 10 years ago to get to right. that and moment. It, that happened with mentoring as well. When we used to mentor um, students, it was like, you know, they saw all the houses that we were buying. They're like, oh, well, I thought this was like, I actually have to physically go knock on the door and, you know, meet with the homeowner. And we have the saying five minutes or five hours. It didn't matter how long you stayed with that, you know, homeowner to try to get the deal. Correct. And they couldn't see that you know, working those long hours to become yeah. successful. So, I mean, it, it, uh, there's, there's many, uh, facets to that. Mm-hmm. And as far as like doing what to do today to, so that, uh, you can live tomorrow like others can't. Um, but we're going to get into some points and just, um, you know, things that we've noticed and things that we've done. So like the first one is, you know, you got to be willing to sacrifice now yeah. to succeed tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And this can go t- into many different avenues. So it could be as an entrepreneur, it could be, you know, do you just going to school and becoming, you know, like my brother or parents, you know, for instance, they sacrificed many years in, in college and medical school and residency and fellowships and all that, which is a huge sacrifice today so right. that, 
you know, and then they're going to be the, everybody just sees the plastic surgeon or the. Making you know, money. Yeah. yeah. And they don't realize that, man, they endured a lot of, st- they went through way more school than I would have yeah. ever gone through to get there. But that was his, that was, you know, I'm speaking with my, my brother-in-law. That's his goal though. That's what he wanted to do. Correct. Yeah. But it, but, but people don't realize that, that he endured all that. Oh, they just yeah. see the end product. And right. so. Um, cause it's kind of counter culture, mm-hmm. I think to today, everybody wants it now. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants, especially with social media, they see the, the riches, the, the, the assets, the money, all that stuff. And it's like, well, I want that now. Mm-hmm. I want to have, but they don't realize. They don't really show yeah. the nitty gritty of actually getting Correct. it done. Unless you steal it or win the lottery or something <laughs> like that. It's not realistic right. that you're going to, it takes a lot of, of sacrifice and upfront of doing things mm-hmm. and doing things that sometimes aren't fun or just doing the things that are required in order to get to where you want to be. Yeah. So, um, you know, just a couple of things that go with that one about sacrificing, you know, live below your means. So have a budget, um, invest heavily, um, invest a, a portion of your earned income. This kind of goes into last week's, um, podcast as well. Right. Don't get into a lot of debt. Mm-hmm. Um, so don't, you know, delay dra- gratification again. Um, you know, watch your debt so that you mm-hmm. have the resources, money to be able to invest or to, um, you know, g- start a business, um, invest, go to school if you want to become like a professional. Um, there's many other you know areas. Um build a business now or just learn yeah so continue to learn be a student for life correct we and talked about that last week as well exactly or going to work for somebody and you might have to sacrifice or take a big pay cut in order to learn something from somebody and then you know grow it or or take it and, and use that into your own business mm-hmm. eventually but you, you know you have to make some sacrifices up front uh, second point was don't be average. Right. Yeah. You. Don't be average. I mean, level up people. I mean, you know, there are some scary statistics out there. So a couple of things like emergency savings, like 40%, 46% of Americans couldn't cover a $400 emergency expense. That's pretty scary. Right. And one out of three Americans have no retirement savings whatsoever. And most Americans are, like you said, you know, they have a lot of debt. They're heavy on credit cards. So um, don't be average. So do today what others won't. Like don't get into that debt to have that TV, that car, the house. Sacrifice Mm -hmm. now because the more you sacrifice now, the more you can reinvest or um, back into your business, back into uh, just investments and grow it quickly. So passive investments, um, you know, real estate has has been our path, has been our... um, you know, what we've used for our retirement. retirement yeah. It's what mm-hmm. uh, our business models are based on because we either sell investment properties or manage investment properties for, for investors. So, and real estate investing is a very long-term slow strategy. Exactly. So if there's no get rich quick uh, method and it takes time building that out mm-hmm. and, and, it's one of those things I'll do today what others won't. So I can live tomorrow. I was like, I can't. Well, like people don't see 20 years down the road when that property is paid for, it's appreciated, you know, and doubled in value. Now you have the wealth and the cash yeah. and you can retire and you have all that, but people don't realize it's that. It's not going to happen tomorrow. No, it's not going to happen overnight. You took 20 years of, of managing, you know, your property manager to get there. Mm-hmm. You took there of investing in real estate, taking risks. Uh, getting in debt to get there. Absolutely. All those up front. Right. Um, and do what you say you're going to do. Yeah. I, I mean, I think that that's my biggest pet peeve is, you know, when somebody says they're going to do something and then you, you, you don't do it. Right. Um, so, I mean, if you say you're going to do something, do it. I mean, you're, you're only failing yourself when you don't. Correct. And, uh, I mean, that comes in every aspect of life, mm-hmm. right? That would be investing yeah i mean i i don't say i'm going to do something if i'm not committed to it like Correct. if you commit to it get it done and that could even come into like fitness i know that's a yeah. big one for you and like you'll do today what others won't you'll you, you've committed to fitness you've committed to eating healthy your, you your body and right. all that and so like again it you get up at we both get up at 5 30 in the morning and work out you're regardless well, regardless yeah. if you're having a bad day or not you still wake up yeah you might not have the best workout but 
you're committed to working, you're getting up at 515 and sticking to that plan. Yeah. And, and I'm obviously married to a very beautiful woman. So like, <laughs> and you, but it, you don't, you not nothing, you have great <laughs> genes, but, and then this is nothing to knock you, but you also work, you do today, you know, or you've done every day what it takes to get your body like that you in that in the condition you're in but it's something you're willing to do and endure that a lot of people aren't willing to do they just see the end product of you and like wow i wish i could have that body but they don't realize well you every day you've been getting up that yeah. early and, and i guess i mean that's kind of goes into our next point of be a part of change and embrace the change right like you know you can't expect to get somewhere by doing the same thing over and over again yeah i had two kids i mean i can't help that but what i can help is doing something about it right nice. Yeah, yeah, and we're we're speaking to ourselves right now too. Don't get me wrong, because uh, yeah, I uh, you know just last night we were, the uh, ice cream guy came by and man that ice cream sandwich it was did so look good. good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's sometimes hard to resist. I'm like, how many calories does that have in it? Yeah, whole meal. But uh, and then be solutions oriented. So yeah, what, what is and I think where I was coming with that is you know if you're gonna. And again, my staff knows that they're not going to come to me without a solution. Like, don't complain about it. I want solutions. How are you going to fix that? Right? Like, it, it's useless to complain about it. So, and we we've and we're not perfect at this. Don't don't get us wrong. But the we like you to if you come with us to with a problem, right? We want you to also let us know what your solution was to that problem, and then. Go, I mean, once you implement it, what was the result of that? Mm -hmm. that? That's what we would like to hear. So like, okay, I had this problem. Here's what I came up with and here's what I did. And then you're like, okay. And then you have the result. Now, if it was a negative result, well, okay, what could we have done differently? Maybe I would have done this change, but at least, you know, we learned from right. that. Um, and it might be, they just come with a problem and here's the solution I mm -hmm. present. And then we just give our feedback, but at least, but don't come to us just with a problem right. and, and not a solution. Yeah. And I mean, it, it happens in, in the best of all of us. And even in couples, like I, I sometimes come to you, I'm like, look, like, you know, this is what's going on. And, and sometimes you have to put me in my place and be like, Joni, like, you know, well, what are you going to do about it? Right. I mean, so, I mean, it happens to the best of all of us. I, I, I I put you in the, that's a, that's a whole nother podcast. Of, yeah. I think we've already talked a lot about it already. Like Sometimes the, we put the bread in uncomfortable positions. Yeah. Like, are you in today? I'm like my car being dirty. Well, yeah, I have two kids. Come on. Like. So we're filming. Right. And, and the first thing I, I, I not only let you know before I left the house, then I text you and said, Hey, you need to make sure the car is cleaned up, ready to go. We get there. It's like, I open the door and stuff's falling out. I'm like, oh. <laughs> well, most moms would know that. I mean, it's, you know, when you're working full time, I mean, I'm not complaining about it. I, I get that, but. Yeah. <laughs> it's a whole nother conversation. And then uh, practice, practice, practice. Um, what did you mean by that? Well, I mean, you can't expect to be good at something if you're not putting the work right. I mean, most athletes, I mean, yeah, there's talented athletes out there, but at the same time, like most of them, are talented because they put in the work. So, I mean, if you if you want to be good at something and, you know, you want to be successful at something, you got to practice. Yeah. No, practice did, makes perfect. Uh, absolutely. And that's, uh, I, there was a, um, I, I saw it on, I don't know where I saw it, Facebook or YouTube or somewhere just yesterday. There was, a, it was Tom Brady and um, uh, Peyton Manning. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were, they were, you know, having a conference. It was after now that Peyton Manning's already retired, and um, and um, what was it? What did you say? Peyton Manning and Tom Brady. Tom Brady. <laughs> and so Tom Brady was uh, he um, he was talking to uh, Peyton Manning. He was like, "Hey, he's all people don't realize I was picked 190, you know, second. I wasn't a first round pick." Uh -huh. And he was saying, "But every time I stepped on that field, it was my opportunity. It was my opportunity to shine." And like that goes into I'm willing to do today what others won't so I can live tomorrow like others can't. He took that opportunity. He took today and every day and he practiced, practiced, practiced. And then when he got his opportunity, he took advantage of that yeah. opportunity and did today what others won't. And then and then obviously the story is, you know, he's the greatest. He's a goat. So, I mean, <laughs> that, that just shows you, uh, uh, again, what, what practice, practice, practice. Right. So anything else you want to That's finish That's it. Up? Well, thank you guys for watching Inside the Wolf's Den and uh, leave us a review. And subscribe and we'll see you next week.
Have a good week, everyone. You've been listening to Inside the Wolf's Den, an entrepreneurial journey with Sean and Joni Wolfswinkle. Tons of entrepreneurial podcasts are out there talking. Cock, cock, cocking. But Joni and Sean are living it every single day. Their portfolio now includes many franchises and medium-sized businesses. We talk about the trials and motivators of successfully running a business. Join us again soon for another podcast. But until then, reach out on the website at InsideTheWolfsDen.com, on Facebook at Inside the Wolf's Den, on Instagram at Inside the Wolf Den. We'll see you again soon. This is Inside the Wolf's Den. We'll see you next time.